Hey guys, welcome back. Week four, wait, that's really eight. Let me do this. Week four of basic training. Man, we have learned some pretty cool stuff about prayer and God's word and all kinds of stuff in our series. But man, today we are going to talk about worship and how worship helps us connect with God. And man, I am so excited about today. So I hope you came along ready to get excited and fired up about learning more about Jesus today. But as we get going, let's check out what Frankie has to share with us this week. I'm sure it's gonna be fun and interesting as we get going with basic training week number four, talking about worship. It's me, Frankie. I'm out here on the Army base again, getting ready for some more basic training. My G-Pop has me warming up my voice because he told me to meet him out here and he's gonna teach me some Army songs that they used to sing. Hey, uh, I told you don't call me G-Pop in public. Sorry. I used to be a colonel in the Army, so you need to call me. Popcorn, yes, I remember. Oh, for Pete's sake. Pete? Who's Pete? Is he a friend of that guy Roger you were telling me about when you were teaching me how to use a walkie-talkie? Frankie, you are driving me crazy. Now will you just pay attention? Because I'm going to teach you some of the songs I used to sing in the army. Oh, wonderful! I've been warming up my voice getting ready. <clears throat> Mama made me mush my m and Oh my! Uh, that's not what we're doing, oh. so don't even start that. Okay. Now listen, I want you to repeat after everything that I sing, you sing. Okay, I can do that. This is going to be so much fun. All right, well, the first thing you need to do is you need to march. It helps keep your timing right. Um, okay. No, boy! Get over here! Oh. I'm talking about march in place like this. Okay. Left, 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 right, left. Mama, mama, can't you see? Your mom's here? I thought she died like 50 years ago. No, 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 we're not talking about my mama. Sorry. It's just part of the song. Okay. All right, so it goes like this. All right. Mama, mama, can't you see? Mama, mama, can't you see? What the army did to me. What the army did to me. I used to drive a Chevrolet. I used to drive a Chevrolet. And now I'm marching every day. Now I'm marching every day. And halt. <gasps> wow, that was so much fun. <laughs> All right, now it's time for you to try one. Me? Yeah, you. Do you see any squirrels out here trying to join the army? No. I want you to make up an army song. Okay, I think I got one. I don't know what I've been told. I don't know what I've been told. Your feet smell like stinky mold. Your feet smell... Oh, no, you can't <laughs> say stuff like that. Oh. You got to be more army-like. Okay, okay. I think I got one. All right. All right. All right. I don't know what I've been told. I don't know, but I've been told. My G-Pop is really old. My G- What? <laughs> you can't do that. Listen, if you're going to join the Army, this is part of basic training. you got to learn the official Army songs. Well, I don't like these songs. I like God's songs way better. What are you talking about? <laughs> I'm talking about singing songs to God. You know, worship? Warships? <laughs> Where? No, 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 popcorn, popcorn. No, I'm talking about worship. You know, expressing your love to God. It could be in a song, but all you're doing is showing your love to God. If you're a Christian, you definitely want to show your love to God. Well, I agree, I agree, and, and I'd like to learn a little bit more about worship eventually. You would? Well, today's your lucky day, because that's exactly what the kids are learning in today's lesson. It's another part of their basic training. Oh, well I tell you what, while they are learning about worship in their basic training, what say you get back to your basic training and we learn some army songs? <laughs> I can do that. Okay. I don't know, but somebody said. I don't know, but somebody said. G-Pop's got a really bald head. G-Pop's a... Oh, <laughs> you better come here, boy.
Hi guys, welcome back. I'm Nurse Nicole. And I'm Nurse Marissa. And this week's What You Gotta Know is all about worship. So today, What You Gotta Know says, I will worship God with all my heart. And it's important to know that anything that we do, we can worship God with. It's important to worship Him all the time. He will bless you because of it. And it's easy to do. Remember, Marissa was singing last week? Yeah. The B-I-B-L-E song? Just play we songs, worship, worship Him like God. that. It's yeah. so much fun. All right, guys, let's all read this together, okay? I will, I will worship God with all my heart. heart. So Bye good. Bye, guys. Okay, ready? Mm -hmm. Hi, guys. Welcome back. I'm Nurse Nicole. And I'm Nurse Marissa. This week, your What You Gotta Know has to do all of... Wait, what? Sorry. <laughs> I was just no, jumping actually, to it. That would actually be good. Today's yeah. What You Gotta Know is all about worship. Yeah, and then okay. I can start reading it. Marissa yeah, okay. that's actually perfect. Dang it. All right, I could have no, kept good. going. Yeah, great. Try it again. Hey kids, what time is it? Game time! Good morning guys, Drew here on another episode of Game Time here at New Life Kids Online. Today we're going to play a fun memorizing type game. It is called 12 and 12. What you guys are going to see is you're gonna have 12 seconds to look at a picture and there's gonna be a bunch of different random objects. This is summer edition, so it's gonna be like flowers, beach ball, stuff like that. Every, everything you'd see during the summer. And you guys have 12 seconds to try and memorize how many objects on the screen that you can. And then you're gonna have to try and list them out. I'm gonna do that. And then we're gonna see the picture after and see how many we can get. You guys ready? All right, let's jump into it. All right, here we go, round one. All right, let's see. Car, shorts, sunflower, sun, seashell, umbrella, sunglasses, kite, pool, fan, chair, flip-flops. All right, let's see. All right, time is up. Let's see how many we can get. 30 seconds. So we have the red car, the sunflower, the kite, flip-flops, um, the sun, uh, there might have been a beach ball in there, uh, a pool, a fan, uh, what else? Guys, help me out, help me out. Shout it out. L uh, let's see. What else? What was next to the red car? Maybe like a bucket? Uh, lifeguard? Ocean? I can't remember, guys. This is tough. All right, let's see what we got. Oh, swim shorts. I got, so I got the car, the sunflower, the sun, the kite, the pool, the fan, and the flip-flops. So I got seven. That's not bad. I only missed five. Not bad. Let's keep going. All right, round two. I wonder if it's going to get more challenging. Yep, I was right. Now we have all the delicious foods. We have a kebab, a hot dog, watermelon, milkshake, iced tea, tomato, hamburger, corn, lemonade, ice cream, strawberries, cotton candy. All right, let's see. Time's up. Let's see how many we can get. Ready? We have kebab, corn, tomatoes, hot dogs, milkshake, iced tea, lemonade, Cotton candy. I'm stuck. Was there a hamburger in there? Um, cotton candy. Tomatoes. Oh, this is tough, guys. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Some kind of sandwich. I said hot dog already. I don't know. Let's check. I'm nervous, guys. Let's see what I got. All right. So we got cotton candy, kebab, oh I forgot the strawberries and the watermelon and the corn. So pretty good, not bad guys, not bad. That one was tough. All right, let's keep going. Let's see, round three. Oh boy, all the activities, baseball, bike, bags, goggles, jet ski, frisbee, golf, trampoline, soccer ball, tennis racket, beach ball, skateboard. All right. So we have baseball, bags, goggles, tennis, golf, trampoline. Uh, I'm, st I'm stuck, guys. Trampoline. Um, what was the other B word? It was baseball, basketball, maybe, binoculars, bifocals there was another sport in there that started with a b and i cannot remember what it is guys it is what was it 
It was a bicycle. How did I not get that? And then I forgot a whole bunch. Guys, for someone who loves sports, that was a tough round for me, but let's keep going. All right, round four. Let's go. All right, this is a Zach Davidson special. We've got a flashlight, backpack, s'mores, kayak, canteen, fishing rod, park bench, sunscreen tent, camper hat, fire. Guys, this was tough. All right, so we have flashlight, fishing rod, sunscreen, tent, RV, um, a water bottle, canteen type thing. Uh, I might have said fire ready. I don't remember. Um, what else, guys? What else? Uh, oh, the s'mores, marshmallow, all that good stuff. Um, what else do you need when you're camping? Did I say flashlight already? <sighs> all right, let's see, let's see, let's see. Guys, this game is fun. I like this. This is great. All right, let's see. All right. Oh, so I missed the hat. I missed the kayak. And I missed the park, the, the picnic table. Other than that, I did pretty good. And I don't even like camping that much. All right, so we got one more, guys. Let's jump into the last one. Let's see how many we can remember. All right, let's see. Oh, USA, George Washington, American flag, fireworks, Declaration of Independence, Statue of Liberty, Uncle Sam, fire truck, popsicle, Satch, Liberty Bell, America, pie, eagle. God bless America. All right, so we have George Washington, Declaration of Independence, Eagle, Uncle Sam, Popsicle, Liberty Bell, Firework. I just did pretty good there to start. Who else we got? Declaration of Independence. The... What else was on there? The Bald Eagle, the symbol of America. I think that's all I got, guys. I can't remember, I can't remember. Oh, that one I feel like I did pretty good. Let's check it out. All right. Oh, I forgot the flag. Guys, how do I forget the flag? And then the popsicle, the pie, and the map of the United States. How did I forget those things? All of those things are awesome American icons. But guys, I hope you had fun with this 12 and 12 game. Hopefully it jumpstarted your brain a little bit for the day, get your memory going. But now guys, we're gonna jump into a time of worship. So let's get out of our seats and get ready to praise and worship our God. Here we go.
You know what time it is. That's right. It's time to go get your Bible. It is Bible story time. So we're going to give you 10 seconds. 10 seconds. Run. Be quick. Unless you already have it sitting there ready. Then in, in that case, we'll just see you in 10 seconds. Are you ready? Here we go. All right. Welcome back. Hopefully you got your Bible. We're going to be looking at the book of 2 Samuel chapter 6 or in your fire Bibles page 382. Are you ready? Here we go. Our story begins and we see King David. King David had been away on a mission to go get the Ark of the Covenant from a faraway land and bring it back to Jerusalem. The Ark of the Covenant was very special. It was what the Ten Commandments were stored in. It was also a very important spiritual symbol for the Israelites. King David had longed for many years to bring the Ark back to Jerusalem, God's holy city. As King David entered the city of Jerusalem, he went in front of the ark, praising and worshiping God. Now David was the king of Israel, and he wasn't wearing his royal robe as he worshiped. Instead, he was wearing just a simple linen ephod, which was not very king-like at all. But David didn't care about how he looked. David just wanted to worship God. In fact, David worshiped God so much that he began to dance wildly before the Lord. He led an entire group of people there in praise and shouting unto God. Well, David's wife was not very happy. She got very angry and began to criticize him. She told him that he looked foolish for dancing and celebrating like that. She didn't think that it made him look very good in front of all the people. But David wasn't thinking about what the people who were watching were thinking of his dancing and singing. He was focused on God and not others. So King David looked at his wife and said, I was dancing before the Lord, so I am willing to act like a fool in order to show my joy to the Lord. Yes. I am willing to look even more foolish than this. You see, King David understood exactly what we're learning about today. Worship is simply expressing our love to God. It isn't putting on a show for others, so it doesn't matter what others think. It only matters what God thinks about our worship. God loves our worship. He loves to see his children sing and dance and celebrate him in worship. 
Man, what a cool story about worship today and how David got so emotional in his worship that he actually danced. Man, I don't have those kind of moves. But remember, our worship time isn't about us and letting everybody see how we worship. It's about God and connecting with him and how he sees us in our worship. And so what an awesome story here in basic training this week. And man, I just want to spend a couple of minutes and pray with you guys and just remind you about how important worship is and just give thanks to God for giving us this great gift of worship that we can connect with him. Lord, I'm so grateful and thankful today for another piece of basic training this important part in our faith with Jesus, our worship. Worship is so awesome. But Lord, I realize that a lot of people get confused as to what worship is all about. But I thank you today that we can think about worship as singing to you, yes, but also as a way of connecting with you and you actually speak to us during our times of worship. It's so much more than just singing with our voice. Worship is just really living our lives and giving you glory and praise in everything. And although I know, God, that we can sing in worship, there are many other ways to worship too. We can kneel before you by our bed and pray at night, and that's a form of worship. David even danced before the Lord God, and that was part of his worship. But it wasn't about about him being noticed. It was about you getting the glory. We can close our eyes and we can focus on you. And that's another part of worship. We can lift our hands and we can surrender to you. And that's a part of worship. We can clap our hands during worship and and shout loud, and that's a part of worship. There's so many pieces and parts of worship, but every single part of worship is nothing to do with us and all about giving you the glory and the honor and the thanks. It's so much more than singing. It's actually a connection with this God who breathed life into us and created us. Man, I realize, God, today that it's not about style, but it's about love. And God, we are so thankful that you have given so much love to us that we ought to take time to worship you. Lord, I realize that worship is not a performance. It wasn't so everybody could see us. David didn't do that and dance before you so that everybody could see. It's about really showing how much we love you. And the more that we get closer to you, the more we love you and the more that expression of love comes from us. God, would you help us this week not to look at at worship as a job or as a chore, but God, that we might see it as joy. We might see it as happiness. We might see it as a way for us to just show our love to you and enjoy spending time in your presence. Because you are worthy, because you are such an amazing God, we ought to give you the glory and the honor and the thanks. Lord, we ought to take time in our worship to just say thank you. Thank you for loving us. Thank you for for providing for us. Thank you for giving us all that you have done. And certainly, God, in our worship, thank you for sending Jesus. As we've learned in other basic training series, Uh, messages about how amazing your love is and how powerful your Holy Spirit is. Let us not to forget in our worship to give you thanks. Lord, whether we stand or we sing or we kneel or we raise our hands or even like David, we dance. Let it be to your glory and let it be known that you are the one that we're worshiping. We're lifting you up and making you the most important thing in our life. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Sergeant Scripture, reporting for duty. Now it's time for you to learn today's power verse. If you're ready, give me a sir, yes sir. Louder, I can hear you. Now that's more like it. Today's power verse says, Worship the Lord with gladness. Come before Him singing with joy. Psalm 102. That's today's power verse. Now I need all girls to stand up and say it with me. Start a scripture on the count of three. One, two, three. Worship the Lord with gladness. Come before Him singing with joy. Psalm 102. Good job, girls. 
Now I need my boys to get up and show them how it's done. Stand at attention and say the power verse with me on the count of three. One, two, three. Worship the Lord with gladness. Come before Him singing with joy. Psalm 102. Well done. Now have a seat. Boys and girls, do you love God? Do you love Him so much that you want Him to know it? Well, I know just the thing that you can do to show God that you love Him. And it ain't roses or candy. All you gotta do is worship. Just worship God. It's a great way to show Him how much you love Him. Now that you know that, I need all boys and girls to stand up and say the power verse with me on the count of three. One, two, three. Worship the Lord with gladness. Come before Him singing with joy. Psalm 102. Good job, recruits. You can sit down now. Before I go, how about giving me a hoorah? <laughs> I can't hear you. <laughs> this is Sergeant Scripture. I'll see you next time with another power verse. God bless and have a good day. And that's an order. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, guys. How are we doing so far here at New Life Kids Online? I am doing fantastic. One of my favorite parts of church is worship. I love just singing and praising worship our God, getting into the spirit, it is the best. But I know that people praise and worship in different ways. There's like different poses that people do, maybe like you carry the bread or you have like the T-Rex arms or the eagle, something, any of those. And I know that people praise and worship in different ways. But when it comes to praise and worship, it's not about how well you sing, or the praise or the, the poses that you do. It's about seeking after God and connecting with Him through praise and worship. I know that you kind of can get caught up in the moment when you're singing or praising and worshiping, but guys, remember, we have to remember that it's not about the other stuff, but it's only about seeking after God and getting closer to Him. So this week, maybe today or next week when you're worshiping, whether in church or watching this, remember guys, we want to get as close to God as we can through praise and worship. Peace. Hey, thanks so much for being here today at New Life Kids Online. We hope you had a great day as we learned all about worship. Hopefully you take time to worship God each and every single day. Not just on Sundays or when we have a video and we have songs, but every day that you take the time to worship God. Well, right now you know what time it is. It's time for Family Debrief. I love Family Debrief. So go get your mom, your dad, both of them. Go get a relative, call someone on the phone, <laughs> Zoom somebody, go meet someone in the playground and talk about these questions together and pray at the end. We'll see you right back here next week for our last episode of our series.